As someone who researches gut health, it honestly amazes me how much of our health is connected back to our gut health. This is a study that was just recently published showing that our sleep quality, yes, literally our sleep quality can be affected by the types of bacteria that are present in our gut. And I know a lot of people don't know this, but our digestive systems are abundant in many different types of bacteria. Some of, those are, some of them are good that produce different kinds of short chain fatty acids, and some of them are harmful that can cause gut inflammation. But the important thing from this study, which is a randomized double-blinded placebo controlled trial, they administered a specific strain of bifidobacterium to these people or also a placebo. And they showed through the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index test that those people that were administered this specific bacteria had better sleep scores. And they were wondering, the researchers were wondering what the heck, why was this happening? And it's because those people that were getting that specific bacteria, well, that bacteria was producing something called GABA, G-A-B-A, which is actually a neurotransmitter that's important for sleep-wake cycles in our brain. I know this is a lot, this is a whole information overload, but this is really just showing that we need to start really focusing on gut health as it can literally affect every system in our body. This study, the sleep study, is a great example of something called the gut-brain axis, where our gut is able to modulate our brain, in this case, is able to affect sleep. There's other studies that show that the gut can affect the brain in other ways, increasing mood and those kinds of things. But there's also the gut-skin axis where the gut can actually improve the quality of our skin. It can also help with skin disorders like eczema and acne and those kinds of things.